I can't write it down. I I call this joke. I'll try and remember it later. So my next joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so so I was walking down I was walking down Waikiki and some lady stops next to me and I'm on my bicycle, right? I got the whole bicycle um, wardrobe on with the spandex and the helmet and everything and I stop at a red light and the lady pulls up and she said, Hey and I turn and I said, Hey and she goes, Hey, you remind me of that guy, are you that guy? And I said, What guy? She goes, That guy from T V. Are you that guy from T V? No, I'm not that guy from TV. I don't know what who you're talking about. Who you're talking about? Now I've been told once or twice that I look like a couple people from TV, and I was like, uh, "Do I look like Steve Carell from The Office?" I got a big nose, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, no, no, that's that's not that's not who you look like. And I was like, "Do I look like who's that guy that I, you think I look like?" Ralph Cuxa. Nobody knows who that is anymore. <laughs> well, Bradley Cooper, yeah. So somebody, somebody, I was like, Bradley Cooper? Is that Bradley Cooper? And she's like, No, that's that's not who it is. And I said, Who do you think? Who do you think I look like? She goes, That guy that rides the bike. And I was like, Okay, that's obvious. Um, what? And I was like, Lance Armstrong? And she's like, yeah, Lance Armstrong. That's the guy you look like. You look like Lance Armstrong. And I said, why do you think I look like Lance Armstrong? Because I'm on a bicycle? And she's like, no, that's that's not why. And I, it, at the time, I had short, I was in the military, I had short hair, and, and I'm pretty thin. So I was like, it's because I had short hair, and I'm thin? She's like, no, that, that's not why. And I was like, well, why do you think I look like Lance Armstrong? And she goes, uh, well, you look like a liar. <laughs> no. And I was like, and I was like, you look like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I didn't even know with the Trump thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't normally do political jokes. I'm not normally scared of clowns, but I'm not voting for either one of them. <laughs> So, so we're in Hawaii. So, has anybody ever heard of Yield College? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to Yield College. So I do comedy. Their motto, their motto, I don't know if you remember, their motto used to be, get in, get out, get ahead. Now it's just, get out. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you guys have finished college. My college finished. Right? So like, uh, they just emailed me one day and they're like, don't come in on Monday. I was like, alright, holiday or what? And they were like, no, just don't come in anymore, as a matter of fact. But Hill College was not that bad, of, it's got a bad rep, but it wasn't that bad of a college. Like the top 3% of the best professors in the country had heard of Hill College. <laughs> pretty good. So I, like I said, I was in the military, I retired from the Marine Corps, so it had been 20 years since I was actually in a school, probably a little longer than that, 21 years since I was in a school, and I was so nervous my first day of Hill College, so I walked in there, and I just went to English class, like it's just an English 101 or English for beginners, or whatever it is, and uh, I walked in there, and I remember at the end of class, my teacher gave me a 10,000 word essay, and it was due in a week. And I was like, that seems like a lot. How am I supposed to do 10,000 word essay in a week? But I came in that next week, I got an A. I turned in 1,000 words in nine pictures. <laughs> Some of these jokes take a while, you gotta get it a minute. <laughs> oh, I heard a, oh. I get, a, I get a lot of that with my jokes, too. Yeah. I think, I, I, I got an A, I got an A, and I think that's because a lot of teachers grade on a curve, and at Hugh College, they grade on Jack Daniels. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, then I went to, I went to, 
math class right after that, and it was we were just doing basic fractions. And it worried me because I remember one time in fifth grade we were doing basic fractions, and I had no idea how to do them. But the next time in fifth grade, I got I did a lot better. I understand like seven fifths of it, so that's pretty good. Uh, but at the at the end of class, at the end of class, my teacher says, "Hey, uh, does anybody have any questions?" And I said. Yeah, if my girlfriend has no legs, would she still be my better half? <laughs> and he he did he said he didn't know he didn't know what a girlfriend was. So and then I, I had to tell him about my ex, and he was like, "Oh, we're doing algebra in two weeks." <laughs> so I go college. Um, <laughs> So I, 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 I have a son, right? I love my son. He, uh, he, he helps me with comedy as much as he can, right? He's, uh, he's, is he 11? He's 11. He's 11. He just, uh, so he's 11 and he helps me with comedy and I run things by him, right? When I, when I uh, think of jokes and I was like, hey, hey buddy, uh, how about this one? I was thinking of, they were outside playing volleyball or whatever, and I forgot my son, uh, my sunblock. So I grab you and I give you a hug, and that's like sunscreen. And he's like, no. <laughs> no. He's like, how about this? How about if we're playing basketball, and you got the ball, and you're trying to go around to the hoop, and I get in front of your guy and block him. That would be cool sunscreen. And I was like, that's awesome, bro. That's cool, too. But I was trying to be more topical. <laughs> Sorry. I choose vertical over Venetian in blind taste tests. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. That that is my late wife's favorite joke. <laughs> she's not dead, she's right here, but she's always late. <laughs> but I love her. She's from Australia. I don't know if you can tell by the laugh, but she's from, she's from Australia and I, I love the Australian um, accent, right? Guy to girl that thinks just a really cool accent. So uh, so I met her a long time ago. Uh, we've almost been married 17 years, so I met her like a couple years before that. So 19 years ago, yeah. Uh, so it was like 19 years ago, and as soon as I met her, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and, and replicate that accent. I'm going to impersonate it one day. And uh, for 19 years I've been trying, and for you guys, I want to try and do an impersonation of my wife's it's a girl my wife's australian accent here we go oh wait you guys don't know my wife but this is what but anyway is after I get done uh, performing or whatever and I see people outside and they were like, wow, you're the best comedian I ever saw. And I'm like, <laughs> but they're like, you know that joke what you do about your wife's accent? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, it's weird, but my girlfriend's from California and she has the exact same accent. <laughs> Picks me up at Guild College in my Buick Park Avenue, 
uh, which I don't have anymore, but I love that car. She hates it. She drove it and picked me up, and uh, she's like, it's a, it's a old guy's car. And I'm like, it is not an old guy's car. First of all, if you take out the bowling ball and the golf clubs, it goes a lot faster. <laughs> Secondly, I bought it from an old woman, so there you go. But she, she picks me up. I got a pregnant dog and the kid is in the back of the car, and we head down the H1. Right, we're heading down the H1 during rush hour, which is a stupid thing for call it because nobody's rushing anywhere. Um, everybody stopped. But my dog starts making all these weird, I'm about to have puppies noises in the back of the car, and we all start freaking out. But I'm, I, I'm in the middle. I'm like three lanes to go to the right, and like the fast lane, I guess, is over here. And um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what am I going to do? And my wife's like, hey, you got to pull over. And I was like, I know, I can't go that way, though. Uh, so I put on my turn signal, and I there was a, a gap there, and I put on my turn signal, and the, the, I don't know if you guys know, but gaps in turn signals, that means the person speeds up. When they see that thing, the turn signal, they speed up. Uh, so I did that a couple times, and I it didn't work. So I was like, all right, all right. So I rolled the window down. And I threw up the shaka real quick. And I, and I played volleyball, so I'm kind of tame, right? So I, could, so I, I did this, and there was, they, let, they got confused them, so they, they gave me some space. <laughs> and, I got, and I got over, and then I, I pulled off the side of the road, and I looked over, and the, the person's like, ah! Um, so we got out, and we, we took some blankets out, we put the dog, uh, we put the dog down, on the not like that, but we um, <laughs> took the dog out of the car and we set it on the ground on the blankets, and uh, everybody got out. We had seven Labradoodle puppies on the side of the H1, and it was amazing. And now we were like, well, now what do we do? Right? So, so we're like, uh, uh. so a motorcycle police officer pulls up uh, behind us, and I was like, oh, thank goodness, uh, police officers here. So he. he Rolls up on his motorcycle and I walk over to him and he gets off the bike and I'm five ten soaking wet and this guy was much bigger than that but um, that joke never works but I love it <laughs> but, <laughs> for me um, so so I was like excuse me officer uh, can you help us and he's like oh well can you get your license and registration and I was like why do I need my license and registration we had Seven Labradoodle puppies. Would you like a Labradoodle puppy? And he's like, no, I don't want a Labradoodle puppy. I want your license and registration. And my wife's like, go get your license and registration. I was like, all right. So I went, I got it, and I came back. And, I was, and he starts writing on his ticket book. And I was like, what's going on, sir? What? Why are you writing me a ticket? And he goes, well, it's going to be a, a five hundred dollar fine. You can, uh, you know, fight it or whatever. And I was like, what is the? Why are you giving me this ticket? And uh, he points up at a sign, and it says, $500 fine, no littering. <laughs> My name is Patrick Tyrell. Thank you, guys.